age 22, 22 wins behind him, no defeats. Going here, hopefully, for his 23rd win. Up against Bob West from Detroit, Michigan. A man who's had only 12 professional contests, but mixed with some reasonable company in that time. And won 10 of those 12. Useful first left hand from him. Looks like a sort of pocket version of smoking Joe Frazier. Little beard. Second American opponent uh, running for Kayla. One of the brightest prospects in British boxing at the moment. Who's scheduled to box for the British middleweight title in September against the current holder Roy Gums. Kayla stopped uh, Bobby Watts of the United States in his last bout at Wembley just a few weeks ago. Here he's up against Bob West. Kayla sometimes takes a little time to get started. Kayla, one of the most composed fighters I've seen in the dressing room before a contest. Totally relaxed. good look at his man in this opening round not really knowing what to expect here's the left hook from Kayla now warming to the task he's taken that look and now it's to business got a lot of the moves that uh, you'd expect from a man from Detroit. Motor City, of course, uh, producing a vast number of professional boxers. flush on the chin and he now knows that he's up against a hitter here that was the, certainly the best punch of the contest right at the end there and Taylor will certainly have done enough I would have thought to have taken that opening round scheduled for 10 there's the right hand coming in right at the end there actually it landed a little higher than I at first thought on the jaw and uh, West certainly knew he'd been hit United States here is a man who's uh, been in with Wilfred Scipion who you uh, might recall has just boxed for the world middleweight title against Marvin Hagler Hagler stopped Scipion in four rounds and Scipion stopped this man West in five rounds gives you an idea of standards Taylor at the stage where he's about to box for his first major championship the British title good right hand from Kayla. West doing a lot of posing and moving and looking the part but not offering too much at this stage. Quite stylish at close quarters West. Avoids a lot of punches thrown his way. And now opening up a little bit himself here in round two.
the United States called Henry Walker came over here and in this very ring a few months ago took Taylor the distance. Taylor gets any more in like that. This won't go the distance and that's a good right hand. And now West is in trouble here in round two. Little smile from him. Often belies or often tells the tale that a man is hurt. So the best two punches of the contest so far two good right hands from Kayla one at the end of round one and uh, that one just then half a minute to go in round two West nice just stepped inside that one Bob West from Detroit having to take uh, some pretty solid blows there especially that right hand uh, which went in very similar to the punch he got tagged with right at the start of uh, round one as I say he's mixed with one or two good fighters he's been in with Mark Holmes who's the younger brother of the reigning heavyweight champion Larry Holmes he lost to him in his second bout here's the right hand he took in that round Luckily, he was moving slightly away from it. West here, incidentally, having his first contest this year. That's quite a layoff. I think the defeat last year against Scipion uh, took a fair bit out of him. about Taylor is he doesn't usually take too much in a contest nice tight defense he can box and he can hit well he's got three of the prerequisites there to go to the top and that's the way he looks to be heading at this stage in his career 22 bouts 22 wins he had a run of 14 stoppages in a row until not so long ago when the American Henry Walker took him the full 10 rounds Taylor won every round in that contest, but couldn't put his man away. Nice tight defense at close quarters there from Kayla, bringing the elbow down and taking the left hook on that. seems to be losing his pants at the moment they're slipping down a little bit and the protector becoming very obvious there good stuff from Taylor at close quarters Good body punch there and uh, West sort of brought his knee up as a result. He's having a go himself now, but most of his stuff is off target. And well-merited applause for Taylor and his defensive maneuvers there. Took very little. West throwing lots of punches now, but not really landing.
So another useful round there for 22-year-old Mark Taylor. Got married just a couple of months ago to a girl he met on a boxing trip to Las Vegas. And uh, his unbeaten record looks pretty safe at the moment. Uh, international middleweight contest Mark Kayla of West Ham and Bob West of Detroit Michigan Kayla well on top at this stage must have won the first three rounds solid punch. were sound on the target. Right? He's talking now. I'm quite sure what West had to say there. Is he complaining to the referee? Or was it a little taunt? Well, I hardly think that uh, Kayla needs encouragement. to do precisely that here now in round four. Taylor become a very, very popular fighter in the last few months. Suddenly acquired a maturity. Kayla, well on top in this contest, and uh, it was a pretty useful punch right at the end there. Let's have a look at it now. Well, obviously West has taken quite a bit in this contest, and the referee Bob Galloway. Uh, Went to him between rounds there and asked if he was okay. He nodded that he was. Well, that cross-arm defense that one used to see a few years ago from Ken Norton there was quite useless on that occasion with Taylor getting through. Obviously, Kayla really, at this stage, looks a class better than his opponent. Target. 
That's where Kayla's been picking him off a lot. Sterling work with a left hand from Kayla. Oh, what a good left hook that was. That really was a solid punch. defending instinctively now. Oh, and another right hand, and it will be stopped here. All one-way traffic, and the win for Mark Taylor in the fifth round. That's 23 contests, 23 wins. Big right hand again that uh, did the trick in the first place. And here's the punch that resulted in the end. Big right hand over the top, just about got it in. doing quite well to avoid the follow-ups there for a moment or two. And then another one catches him and rocks him. And the referee calls it a day. Double falls and he knows.